All right, we are ready to start session one, HTML. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And basically, it's the underpinnings of everything that you see on a web page. And why do you need to learn about it? Do you really need to know it to create a website? Well, it used to be when websites first came out, you did. But these days, there's so many tools out there uh, that hide the HTML code underneath um, using something called template editors. Uh, that really, strictly speaking, you don't have to know HTML. And in fact, we're going to be using one of those template editors later in um, coming weeks. But I think that you'll be empowered knowing what's going on under the covers. Not only that, you'll be able to do more customizations of your website because you're able to manipulate HTML when you need to. So the first thing we're going to do is just look at what does HTML look like. I'm in Firefox, so I'm going to right click and do view, view page source. And you'll see, if I can scroll this over here, there's a lot of kind of gobbledygook. Certainly doesn't look nice um, viewing it this way, but this is the coding. What, you see, what you're seeing here, these kind of things, are tags, and that's what we're going to be like. Those are the tags that mark up and say, here's what you need to put here. So the first thing I want to tell you about is uh, Mozilla Persona. These are accounts, uh, it's free to get, but the reason you might want to sign up for one of these is that you'll then, um, when we do use Mozilla tools, you'll actually earn badges along the way, um, and so that's kind of a cool thing. So. I'm going to pause this, sign, uh, get myself signed in, and then we'll start up again. All right, after you've signed up for your Persona account, we're going to use a tool called Mozilla X-Ray Goggles. And these are really cool. Uh, what they let you do is remix uh, existing web pages. So all you have to do to get uh, the goggles installed is you drag this up into your bookmarks, and then you'll have it there. And then you just click X-ray goggles, and you'll see as I highlight over things, I can see um, the tags that are going on there. So I'm actually going to do this. Uh, yesterday was Oscars, so I am going to go to a site, and let's say I'd like to change the headline. Um, so again, I'm going to do my X-ray goggles, and I can go. Let's click here. So this is showing me an H1 tag, so that's a heading tag, and you'll notice with almost all HTML tags, there's going to be a beginning tag and then an ending tag, which has a slash in front of it. So start my head tag, end my head tag. And then what I see on the screen is here. And if I want to edit something, I'm going to say that Geek Mom is really happy that the Muppet movie was the winner. And then I can commit changes. And there you go. Uh, so let's say I want to change this image. Again, now the image tag is one that does not have uh, a beginning and end. It's just the image tag. So you'll notice that is the IMG. And then all this right here is um, an image uh, file that I need to replace. So I need to go find an image. So let's see if I can find a Muppet movie image. Well, I like that one. Now the thing with getting an image, uh, if you just try to right click here and copy image location, that is not going to do. You're going to actually need to go to view original image. And then what you're going to do is uh, right click up on the URL and do a copy. And then I'm going to take all that image uh, URL that was here, highlight it, and then I'm going to do Control uh, Command V. And there we go. I've replaced it with my image. Now I could also mess with width and height if I felt that that didn't look well, but that actually looks pretty good. All right, let's do one more change. I'm going to change my... Uh, and here we see that we have a paragraph. Now this class tag is actually something we'll get into when we're talking about um, CSS, cascading style sheets. But again, it's just a way to make the paragraph a certain font. Um, so I'm going to say that Ben Affleck won an Oscar as producer of The Muppet 
movie. Actually, I'm going to say that. Oh, and here, if it's not going to let me change it here, I can always try go to advanced. There we go. That's really what it looks like. But I'm going to say that Fozzie Bear won an Oscar. All right. And I could continue um, doing more things. Now, am I actually changing uh, wired.com's uh, website? No, I am not. Um, I am just uh, doing these changes locally. But I could publish it. I could um, click P and I could publish to the internet. And there's my URL. So I now have a URL I can point other people to that has my uh, customized website. So if you do this and you would like to share uh, the Remix website that you came up with, please publish your URL and share it in our groups. And I'll be back in a moment with uh, the next activity.